was apparently beside the point. The point was, I'd spent an entire lifetime self-righteously insisting that being rich was overrated and gross, and I wasn't going to back down easily, no matter how broke I had to stay in order to prove my point. I could handle the idea of making more money, but saying that one had to be rich? That was unacceptable. I was so disgusted that Waddles could be such a shallow ignoramus that I not only slammed the book shut and didn't pick it up again until years later, at which time it um, totally changed my life, I also continued to barely make any money for those next few years. Instead, I kept toiling away, taking the odd low-paying job here and there, writing articles, catering, babysitting, knitting, attempting to sell what I knitted, etc. As torturous and time-consuming and totally ain't getting rich anytime soon as my plan was, example, cost of yarn, plus time it takes to knit a caftan, plus charging anything less than $5,000 for said caftan, equals seriously not worth it. It was still apparently more worth it to me to keep doing things the way I was doing them than it was to work on my negative beliefs about money and change what I was doing. I was more attached to my truths about how evil money was and to my beliefs about my ability and my right to make money than I was to my desire to no longer shop for groceries at the dollar store. In my seasoned experience as a grouchy broke person and my many years of coaching countless people on the topic of wealth, I've discovered that few things make people want to fight, vomit, or ask for their money back more than telling them that one must be rich to be successful and complete. One of the biggest obstacles to making lots of money is not a lack of good ideas or opportunities or time, or that we're too slovenly or stupid. It's that we refuse to give ourselves permission to become rich. I see it over and over, the kicking and screaming about how, at the end of the day, what's most important is spending time with those you love gazing at sunsets, rejoicing in the laughter of frolicking children, helping old ladies cross the street, and other things money can't buy. And I won't argue, but I will ask this. Why the hell does this come up when we discuss the making of money? When did it become an either-or situation? If you partake in the pursuit of wealth, it's not like you shall never again attend a family barbecue, hug a puppy, or tiptoe through the tulips. In fact, if you do it correctly, you'll be able to afford to spend even more time on such merriments, and do it in style. Not to mention pay for the gas to put in your car to get to the family barbecue, buy the hot dogs, show up wearing clothes, and marvel at Uncle Carl's famous card tricks unfettered by thoughts of your crushing debt, or how you're going to hit him up for a loan to cover your rent this month as soon as he's had a few beers. Everybody arrives on this planet with unique desires, gifts, and talents. And as you journey through life, your job is to discover what yours are, to nurture them and to bloom into the most authentic, gleeful, and badassiest version of yourself. In order to do this, as a human being in modern society on planet Earth, you must be rich. And let me clarify what I mean by rich, lest you think I'm saying your life is worthless unless it involves a mansion and a yacht. Rich. Able to afford all the things and experiences required to fully experience your most authentic life. While the amount of money you need will depend on who you are and what you desire, ain't nobody riding for free. No. Body. We exist in a world where, like it or not, nearly everything involved in your growth, pursuit of happiness, and self-expression costs money. If you're an artist, for example, your riches might go towards things like paint, canvases, brushes, a studio, trips to places that inspire you and fill you up with ideas, dinner out with friends and fellow artists to keep your spirits and energy high, hiring a PR firm, someone to walk your dog so you can work, a personal trainer, and a DJ at your art opening, paying the admission fees to museums, buying healthy food.